make sure he says that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Everybody ready? Well, the legislature is not upstairs right now, so we would probably be quiet for a little while. Uh, welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is a this is a very important day. It is a great step forward between uh, our state and the United Kingdom, and we are here to announce a memorandum of understanding, which will provide a framework and encouragement for trade between our, between those two entities. And we have various guests with us, and one of which will speak to you now, the Right Honorable Greg Hands, Member of Parliament, British uh, Minister of State, the UK's Department of International Trade. Minister Hands, if you please. Well, thank you, um, Governor McMaster, and thank you for that uh, warm welcome. Uh, it is great to be um, in your capital and great to be uh, back in South Carolina. I've, as I was explaining, I've been here once before, but my first time uh, in Columbia. And almost a year ago to the day, my predecessor, Penny Mordant, uh, came here to explore how we could enhance the UK's strong economic relationship with South Carolina. And I'm absolutely delighted to deliver that goal and conclude today's MOU. Uh, Britain and South Carolina have a long shared history. Our first consulate in the southeastern United States was in the very state, in the beautiful city of Charleston. And British roots continue to run deep in the state. The MOU we sign today is the latest evolution in that relationship and one that further strengthens our contemporary ties. Uh, Britain and South Carolina are already major trading partners with businesses and consumers here in the state buying 1.4 billion pounds or 1.95 billion dollars of UK goods last year, and South Carolina exported around 716 million pounds worth of goods to the UK in 2021. As importantly on the investment side, over 11,700 South Carolinians worked for UK-based firms, and 13,000 jobs in this state were supported by exports um, to the UK. So, Governor, we have a very solid foundation. As I'm sure you all know, the MOU signature is not the end point, but the start of ever closer working together. It'll help us to unlock um, trade barriers, promote UK and South Carolina businesses, realize investment opportunities, share expertise, pool our talents in research and development, and ultimately grow bilateral trade. Our goal is to make it quicker, easier, and cheaper for British and South Carolina firms to trade across the Atlantic, particularly in our key shared sectors of automotive and life sciences, which are the two sectors specifically named in the trade section of the Memorandum of Understanding. We know that South Carolina is the top passenger vehicle exporter of all 50 states and boasts the fastest growing life sciences sector across the whole country. Similarly, automotive is Britain's largest industrial manufacturing sector, with 60.2 billion pounds worth of manufacturing turnover in 2021, while the UK life sciences sector exported 24 billion pounds worth of goods globally in 2021 and counted the USA as its single largest export market. We already export around 29.5 million of life sciences related products and 23.9 million worth of automotive products to South Carolina, going the other way, so this relationship, ladies and gentlemen, can only grow stronger. So I want to thank you, Governor McMaster, and your team, and my own team, for all the work you have put in to develop and agree this arrangement, and for your commitment to Britain-South Carolina relations. I'm looking forward to working with you further, and with South Carolina, looking forward to our first working group meeting um, early next year to ensure that our MOU helps businesses and people in Britain and in the Palmetto State prosper, realizing their full economic potential. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and thank you, Minister Hands. And before we came out, we were in the office, and on the wall there is a, a drawing of Charleston made in 1739 by an Englishman, 
describing the potential of Charleston and what was called then the province of Carolina. And it, uh, everything that was uh, implied there and could be uh, forecast there has come true. And this relationship that we have with Great Britain is very valuable to our state. And as you have heard me say often in the last few years, South Carolina is booming. We are growing, our people are happy, we're educating them, we're training them, we're keeping them safe. And to have trade partners like Great, Great Britain opens another whole arena of prosperity. So this agreement, this memorandum of understanding, which was the result of work and thought and talent, is an excellent vehicle to promote and encourage this trade. And we are looking very much forward to it, and we appreciate your work and your team's work very much. Before we sign the document, does anyone have a question? Question for the minister? Yeah. Yes. Well, look, it's, uh, the United States is incredibly important for us. Uh, the U.S. overall is our largest bilateral trading partner. Um, so we put in a huge amount of work to uh, reduce or remove trade barriers in the last few years in any case. Like, for example, ending a lot of the tariff disputes on the Section 232 uh, um, a dispute between the U.K. and the U.S., otherwise known as Airbus Boeing. So we're putting in a lot of work there. Obviously, it remains our objective to still do a free trade agreement with the United States. That remains our stated objective, but I don't think that's going to be uh, doable at the moment. Um, in tandem with that, though, but independent of that, we're doing the statewide memoranda of understanding. I mean, uh, significant economies, uh, five million people here, for example, in South Carolina, you know, that is the size of a, of a country in many parts of the world. So actually doing an agreement like this to cooperate further in areas of strong common interest, like automotive, life sciences, uh, there's other things which are not be excluded from the agreement, but I'd like to see cooperation on professional services, on clean energy, there's other things as well. So it's a big part of what we're doing. We've done agreements now with Indiana, with North Carolina, now South Carolina, uh, I'm also on this visit, I'm going to be in California and Utah. We're also progressing talks with other states. So it is a big part of our uh, trade policy as well is getting these uh, statewide agreements and looking at areas where we can work really well together. And South Carolina, thanks to the governor, has been right at the front foot of making sure that uh, South Carolina also takes advantage of that opportunity. <clears throat> if I might, um, we would very much like to do one, um, but we recognise it's not um, the administration's current priority doing new free trade agreements. But that doesn't prevent us from doing quite a lot in the space of trade. I, I already mentioned uh, seeking resolution to the Airbus Boeing dispute, uh, making sure that uh, we've just today signed an energy cooperation agreement. Uh, between the US and the UK. So not doing a free trade agreement doesn't prevent us from cooperating, doing agreements in other places. And obviously we can do uh, agreements here on a statewide basis as well. So there's a lot going on in the UK-US trade space uh, without necessarily having to do an FTA. Okay. Well, thank you very much. And let's sign the document.